Hey guys, this is episode number four in Paper World Tutorials. In this episode, we will use motion presets included in Paper World. Using motion presets is a good way to add animation to otherwise static elements. But before you can start using motion presets, you need to install these into your computer. Instructions for installing the presets are in the help file and there is also a link on this tutorial screen and in the comments below. If you need some help regarding this, just send us an email and we will help you out. To start, we will make use of this person element we created in the previous tutorial. But before moving on, it's a good practice to rename your custom elements you have created so you can keep track what's inside. So we will rename this custom one on project panel. We'll rename these to persons four, as there are four persons inside. And the other custom element we created is with dragon. We we'll rename this also dragon one. And now we know that the rest of these are empty and ready to use. So we will open the custom element shape where we created these persons. These are in this folder. And now we open also this precomp to be able to copy these two layers which make up this one person. Let's select both and copy them. Command C. And now we go to the first empty custom shape composition and paste them here. So now we have this one person in a separate, comp separate element, separate composition, and we can rename also this newly created element to person one. Now we can start animating this guy using the motion presets. To use motion presets for an element, you open the element composition, not this, this one, this person one composition. And now you can see there are two layers here, uh, which are called add animation here. The first one is a 2D layer and when you are using 2D motion presets, uh, the usual ones, then you add these motion presets to this layer. When you are using 3D motion presets, then you should add them to this second 3D layer, add 3D animation here. Then they will affect the layers below correctly. And you can also combine different motion presets, but I will show you later about this. So we will take our uh, current time indicator cursor to the beginning of composition because we want our animation to start right where the comp starts. And now we can find the motion presets we are going to use. Uh, we go to effects and presets panel and after you have uh, installed the presets you should do this also here. Click on this uh, layer button icon and click on refresh list so they will definitely be there. So I don't have to do it anymore. And then you can find them under animation presets. Here is a separate folder, PW presets. And we use for this one, the first blowing wind preset. Double clicking on this preset when the layer is selected, it will add it. And now we can make some changes to this. First, we'll, uh, we'll close up this first, first one. We don't need to touch this. And now we want to make the scale of the element a bit bigger. This depends on what element are you using here. You just have to check that the element uh, edges don't go outside the comp. So you will have your element beautifully placed inside the comp. And now when we make a RAM preview for this, then you can see this guy is like rocking back and forth, back and forth. So the animation preset uh, 
has been added here. And I'll show you one more thing, uh, an alternative use to motion presets. Uh, let's say we want to make this cape of the person moving separately uh, from the head ellipse. And to do that, uh, we need to go to the shape composition where these two layers are. And the lower one is uh, the cape layer. Now we add a new adjustment layer on top of this. And then we can add a motion preset to this adjustment layer. So it will only be affecting the cape layer. And we'll use this time the last waving preset. But we have to check again that our current time cursor is in the beginning of the comp. Otherwise, the keyframes will be added where your current time cursor is. Sometimes you may want this, but not this time. And when double clicking, it will be added. So we have again some settings we can change here. And when we first make the run preview, you can see there's not so much uh, movement going on here. It depends on your element and what size of elements you are using or how much detail there is. So we want to make this a uh, lot stronger. And to do that, uh, we are going to change wave height to something like uh, 20. So when we now run preview, we can see there is uh, more movement. This is something we, I wanted to do, so. Now when we use this guy uh, with uh, the motion presets added in our scene, we will add it the same way we added elements before. So first we'll make a duplicate of another layer, Command D. Now we can replace with this uh, new one. So holding down Alter Option. And we also want to move him before the fire layer. So he, he looks like he's sitting in front of this uh, big fire there. And we also need to change the position to move him more to the center. Okay, this looks good. And uh, now when we are RAM previewing here. So uh, during working on the scene, uh, it's good to turn off under advanced controls the camera blur so you will get much faster uh, previewing times. Also, this is the reason why I keep the um, uh, preview quality on quarter or something lower than high. So making RAM preview now. And we have added our animated guy here sitting in front of the fire and doing something, doing some movement there. And the cape is moving also like uh, from the heat coming from the fire or from the wind. And I will show you one more uh, example using motion presets and this time we will use it uh, on, uh, on an element which is included with the paper world. So here we can see this guy animated. So another element uh, we will add a motion preset to is uh, under elements folder and this time we'll take a static space element uh, UFO static one so before you start adding any animation of your own or using motion presets uh, if you take uh, a static element as a base it's really good to make a duplicate first because if something goes uh, uh, not like you have planned or you want to start all over with the animation, then you don't have to do all these undo steps, but you can st 
just delete the animation uh, animated element and start over with static element. So first make a duplicate to this and we'll rename this new one according to the animation we are going to add so we know what is it. Now we can open this element comp and here let's select this add animation here because we are going to use 2D animation preset and we'll find the hover preset from here uh, checking that the current time cursor is in the beginning of comp and double clicking on the preset it will add it And we'll also run preview this. You can see the UFO is hovering now. And you can also combine different motion presets. Uh, to do that, you just need to add another preset. Mm, but be careful that you have unselected this first preset because if this one is also selected when you add the second one, then it will only replace the first one. So we unselect this clicking somewhere else. And now we can add another one and we want to use the scale up center again we check that the current time cursor is in the beginning of comp and double clicking on this now when we run preview you can see the UFO is coming from nowhere and hovering on one place so this was episode number four about motion presets in paper world and thank you for watching you will see a button for next tutorial episode somewhere on the screen. Please also subscribe to the channel so you will get notified when we add more tutorials here. Thank you. Bye.